Hey y'all! Woohoo! Look who's back! You guys have been asking. They've been very worried about you. They thought you were ill. Have you been ill? Oh no no. No no no. no. He's been hanging out with Just people. Busy. And um, he had to change his plans. Dinner with some fellas from church tonight. I yes. asked him last week. That's how busy he is nowadays. I have to ask the week before. It used to be like the day before. But now he's so busy with all of his people <laughs> yeah. that I have to I have to get in there early. But I wanted to tell you. Um, have you guys heard about this Dutch uh, uh, grocery store called Jumbo? Those of you in the Netherlands, you know what I'm talking about, right? They have slow checkouts for like elderly people that want to chat. Are you elderly? Elderly maybe, chat not so much. <laughs> yes, you like to <laughs> chat. Yes, he does. So I thought that was really cool. I saw this article pop up on my phone because they know my phone knows that I shop, grocery shop a lot. And I thought, how sweet is that to have a, a checkout line mm -hmm. specifically for elderly, like lonely people that just want to slow down and chat. Well, the Dutch, there's a, they have a high population of older people. Um, so you know. it's good for them. Right? Oh, absolutely. You guys are old. I'm so sorry. No, you're beautiful. Age <laughs> is a beautiful thing. But first of all, let's talk about what we're doing today. We are doing our once a month grocery haul and look at all of this stuff. It's getting ready for the Super Bowl around here. Those of you in the U.S. of A, it's Super Bowl time. Now, I have to tell you something really exciting that we are doing. Dad, you don't know about this, but I am collaborating with This Mama's House. She has a blog called This Mama's House and a YouTube channel called This Mama's House. This Mama's House. Her name is Tabitha Kelly. We've been connecting. I think we're probably going to be best friends soon enough. How many children? She has only six children. Oh, only six. So I, have, I am lacking because I have five. We're in the Midwest, by the way. And um, we're doing a like collaboration of grocery hauls. So if you love grocery hauls, especially once a month grocery hauls, today is your day, my friend. I would love for you to check her out. She's absolutely delightful. Homeschooling mom. She has six children. She's all about homemaking and grocery hauls and recipes and making, uh, meal prepping, all the things that I love, she loves. So if you love this channel, I think you'll love her if you don't already know about her. So pop over to her channel. I'll put her link down in the description. Let her know I sent ya. Hi, Tabitha. I'm so excited to be doing this with you. Thank you, thank you. Now, we are gonna go grocery shopping. Five stores, just five. <laughs> He's like, no. Five stores, we're going to Sam's Club, Aldi, Walmart, Target, although that's a pickup, and Meyer. And I'm gonna take you in. We're gonna go shopping together. I'll give you all the prices of all the things. Things like this, $11.98. You can send this to me, it's fine. That'll be fun. Although, is this chocolate? Oh, it is chocolate. Look at these Valentine treats. How many of you are getting ready for Valentine's Day? We're gonna do a Valentine's Day shop with me. I know I told you that the last time, but I promise it is coming. I just wanna be a little closer to Valentine's Day. That's how my brain works. Um, so we'll get there. These are fine. You can buy these for me as well. Anyway, let's go shopping Sam's Club. I'll show you everything. It's gonna be great, let's go. Also, while we're walking, okay, here's my nerdy list. I price compare everything, everything, and I put it based on the stores. Not only did I do that, I did it based on where things are at in the store. So the, the little incredible. path that we take, we're gonna get the jet drive first. Are you impressed? I am incredibly impressed. <laughs> do you think that we'll reduce our shopping time today? Oh, not that you know. Oh, darn. <laughs> okay, because he's too thorough, that's what it is. He's way too thorough, I'm much quicker but he makes sure it's good. So let's go shopping, folks. Oh, can we talk about a pergola? I would love to have a pergola. It's only $1,000. I would have thought a pergola would be a lot more. Does that seem like a lot to you? No? no? I mean, I mean then, it'll last for a long time. Yeah, and I love the lights. It's so, that would go great on our little back patio, though. I'm not sure no, how, no? So. Too big? Yeah, because your, your patio's up on the deck. Oh, no. You mean? outside the back door the, yeah outside oh, the yeah, back yeah. door that, yeah to go. all right we'll put that on the list of someday millions of years from now oh look at all these nice things they're tantalizing us with spring aren't they i need to get a new uh grill too we didn't have one all last year and it was sad i could grill in the snow mm -hmm. could you would you in the snow oh yeah we did in colorado uh -huh. I Minnesota. would, I could, in the snow. Could you, would you, in the rain? Not as much. Uh-huh, depends on where it's at. Ooh, that would be fantastic. You get the nice little griddle on the top. That's like a full family affair right there. You got, 
You could have breakfast outside. Oh, that'd be so fun. People are getting ready for spring break. Look at that. Beach towels here in January. Come on now. Man, I've not seen this much furniture here at Sam's Club before. Oh, that's true. You couldn't get it. It was all like back stock. People were waiting 18 months, I felt like. 18 weeks. Let's not be dramatic, Megan. 18 weeks to get their stuff. He's walking too fast already. Come on. Oh, I like that basket. Listen, just tell yourself no. Unless you really need a, bla a basket, just say no. I see London, I see France. Disinfecting wipes. They're not for pants. <laughs> 1094 for these guys and I like them. So many of you responded to my last question about these mops and you thought that they were really fantastic and then there were others of you that were like, that's a no for me. <gasps> Did you see they have Wyman's in a three pack? Please buy this. If you have stainless steel in your kitchen, you will thank me. Let me just tell you that right now. You can buy it at other stores, but this is a three that's pack. Cheap. Yes, that's very cheap. Wow. See, it's because I did so many videos talking about my love of it and how I had to get it at <laughs> Amazon. I think they all heard me. I think that's what it was. Anyway, you guys liked this mop and then there were some that didn't, but you know. Jet dry. Too bad we're not still in the special they had a while ago. 11.58, we got a new dishwasher and it was guzzling this stuff and there was no way to set it to a lower amount. So you know what we started to do? We do the express wash, the 60 minute wash instead of the 4 million hour wash. My heavens, those were the cleanest dishes. And now we don't run out quite as fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, dishwasher pods. Ooh, gross, it's going up. Yes. I prefer uh, this Cascade one with the green lid is just fine. $18.98 for the pack of it. We do a lot of dishes. Tell me in the comments how many loads of dishes you do a day. Now I know some of you hand wash them and just bless your heart. We did that for two weeks when our dishwasher broke and Marcus and I were a team to be reckoned with, but we were so happy when the dishwasher was finally replaced. Wow, this one is a lot cheaper. It's this is the eight. Members Mark brand. So it's 11.5 cents each versus 18 cents each. Seven cents less for each one, so seven bucks difference. You know what we could do? I have the other one at home. We yes. could like go back and forth. One day do the this one and one day do the other. If we just are like, eh, it's okay. Yeah. Why don't we try it? Let's put the other one back. Let's save ourselves $7 for the exact same amount. I think it has 105 count. Yeah. Come on now, that's how we save the big bucks, people. Store brands are gonna do it for you. If you're looking to save on groceries, that's the way to do it. My dad about fainted. Look at this, $30.88 for the corn oil. He said, it is large, but it used to be half that much. <laughs> no paper towels this time, you're right. I don't know, we've not been using them quite as much. $22.98 for the toilet paper, always and forever. And we're gonna do the uh, semi-sweet, please. $9.98 for the semi-sweet chocolate chips. Oh, by the way, we brought in our containers this time because it's cold outside, so we don't have to fiddle with the <laughs> putting things in the trunk. But I'll link these below if you guys are interested. I like them. I like the big one. Mm -hmm. I like the little one too. I like them all. I've been out of vinegar and my clothes and towels have been crying out, why, Megan, why? <laughs> I like to put this in our softener spot instead of softener. And as long as you do an extra rinse, no vinegar smells, but it really, it kind of like, strips your clothes gently if yeah. that makes sense so yeah. especially if you have nasty towels this gets all the nasty out and i i like it so 568 for two mm -hmm. gallons right two gallons, two yeah. gallons. i will it's use it 2.3 cents an ounce yeah it's really good i compared it promise i do lots yeah. of comparing and it's a good price you can't put too much of vinegar vinegar is vinegar is vinegar right vinegar is vinegar. <laughs> mac and cheese time 15.98 for 18 boxes it comes out to about just under 89 cents per box which is great because if you get this at the store uh, elsewhere singly it could be well over a dollar oh it's at least a dollar yeah so i'm gonna say even a dollar 25 but yes. i'm not for sure on that shock and awe folks i have so much rail sauce and so much of the big box of barilla i am still gonna buy pasta but not here but we're just gonna walk by, just glance like we're good friends. Hey, we'll see you at the fence, hey. We were just commenting that Sam's Club is looking very clean today, really cleaned up for us. 
and got its act together and we appreciate that i just their stacking ability lately is top notch i wonder if they've hired somebody that's a little ocd those are the kind of people i like if i had a grocery store i want the ocd ones anybody that's okay. we're salmon buying right now and this is a big in Wow, $9.98 a pound. I think we could get three. Dad thinks maybe even more. Three meals. Because just Marcus and I, we talked about this. The kids, not salmon fans. They get something else that night. But it's tucked under there, too. So yeah. I think we can get a lot. Nice. Oh, man. four fifty in the oven, folks. Lemon pepper seasoning, olive oil. And uh, 12 to 15 minutes. It's beautiful. Turkey, turkey, gobble, gobble. Uh, fifteen ninety eight for three. Is it three pounds or oh. two and a half? No, they're five pounds each oh, total. Five pounds, yeah. Because it's pounds, two so, containers. Yeah. Three twenty a pound. Glad we figured that one out, folks. Fifteen ninety eight for that big dog. I'm gonna do a grocery haul put away, so you'll have to come and watch that. I'll be putting all the goodness away. Dad, you're gonna be so proud. The other day I was buying uh, yogurt, and guess what I did? What? I looked at the price, or not the prices. Eight. I looked at the expri Eight. ex. Eight. How do we say it? Expiration. Thank you. And one of them was very close to expiring, like within a few days. I never checked the expiration date. Always. You've taught your ways to me. Look at me. I'm getting crazy. <laughs> Look what they have here, guys. Chicken gyoza. I said it right. Are you guys proud? Remember when we made that in our live? Yeah. I bet mine was just as good, if not better. Maybe this one's better because I couldn't get mine quite thin enough, but I'll keep trying. We like it. Salad time. It's salad time. 228. Israel's been in love with this salad lately, and me too. I I like it. I do like the more grassy one next to it, but we're gonna do less grass this time and do the garden salad. Cauliflower, 312 for this beauty. How do they look? Well, Not that great. Let's see. This one kind of speaks to me here. Well, well, ooh, that one's tiny. Although my friend from India, yeah. she said that the smaller ones are sweeter. Yes, I bought one the other day from Aldi's. And you and thought? It was good. Huh. I never would have known. Yeah. So. What do you think? Should we try Aldi? It's always so touch and go there. Yeah. This one doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks pretty. I don't see anything. And the leaf's still very green. Okay. So. Then I say we do it. Dad, have you ever had Chihuahua? Have yeah, what? How do you say that? Chihuahua? Oh, hey, tell me how to say that in the comments, those of you that are yeah. Or is it Key? Oh. Key? I don't know. I don't do you Spanish. Can ask Megan. I mean, Addison? Addison? Maybe she'll know. Sai is at school and she's taking Spanish this year. Again. She, yeah. She, I bet she knows. Okay, we are getting Parmigiano. And let me tell you, this really is the best price in town. I was price checking. Um, for half a pound, other places it was five ninety eight, just half a pound. This is a full pound, six ninety eight a pound. Do you need a big one or? A uh, one? doesn't have to be too crazy. Okay. Yeah. We'll so we'll get parmesan. We put that on our pasta because it's good. And then the kids have been having little slivers of it, kind of like big slivers of it, to be honest. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so good. And Joey can have it. She doesn't have any lactose problems with it, which is nice. Those harder cheeses right. are okay. So. Yeah. Look at those, this, those strawberries, Nine ninety eight. They got the two pound container back and look at the leaves. They look yep. super green. Very fresh. See, my dad taught me that. I am so smart. Let's do it. Okay. I like it. The kids have been asking for strawberries and I got them a pound of it the other day and man, they sure ate them up. Did you guys see the last shopping trip where we did uh, Pinkaboos? How many of you have tried Pinkaboos? Oh man, have you tried, uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> have you tried Pinkaboos? No, they're I heard so about good. Them. You've got to. We, I don't know what they are. They're like a strawberry. Somebody was saying it's like a pineappleiness to it, but I wouldn't say that. It is like a, a candy, strawberry. Wow. Somebody describe it for us. What is it? It's just good. It's, I, I almost like it better than a strawberry. What? The texture is lovely. And some of you told me you didn't even think it was fully the right season for it. So it can only get better. Come on. We got the cucumbers, English cucumbers, three ninety eight. Somebody asked me, how come you don't buy these at Aldi? They do sell them at Aldi, but Aldi is not always dependable. And I've picked up many of their cucumbers and they've been a little bit flimsy and that concerns me. So dad's checking everything over. You're doing a fine job. That's a no, yeah. Okay, beautiful. By the way, 
Um, I have been working on doing more like veggie prep and fruit prep, all that kind of stuff. And I've been putting it in jars. I put cucumbers in jars and it lasted a week without turning bad. I could not believe it. it didn't get squishy or weird. It was amazing. I wasn't gonna get peppers, but you know, I'm just a sucker for peppers and I have to. $6.98 for the uh, six of them and they're always so, so good. That one looks beautiful. Ooh, okay. You guys tried these dinosaur Jurassic World chicken nuggets. Now they're not from Tyson. I don't know who they're from. John Scholl's Foods. John Scholl's Foods. I haven't tried them and I just don't know if I want to try them. Um, I had read some reviews. People said their kids liked them and then others that said not so much. So any thoughts on those? $14.98 for those guys. So but. Three seventy-five a pound. Which you buy them for seven dollars for how much is in the oh, pack? Oh, I don't know how much is in the pack. Well, yes, we'll, we'll have to we'll look. look. But if you think that these are good, you let me know. Yeah, they're from Tyler, Texas. Tyler, Texas. How are you liking my list? Is it working? That's wonderful. Yay! Okay, Eggo waffles. Megan, why are you buying Eggo waffles when you make your kids homemade waffles? Because I can. <laughs> because I can. Sometimes you just need something easy. And different, yes, and different. Thank you, I appreciate that. Also, I don't know what's going on with Meyer, but they have triple berry blend. They had one that was for eight dollars and something cents. Same amount, sixty-four ounces, I think this is, or whatever the four pounds is. It was cheap, right? Then they stopped, and they haven't filled it up in maybe two months. So then I bought another one from there that was a little bit cheaper than this one. Now they don't have that in stock. So I don't know what's going on. So we're going back to Sam's Club, $13.98. This used to be 10 something. It makes me want to yak. Really it does, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And I like the berries without strawberries in them. I don't prefer frozen strawberries. Oh, that's why they're so much. There's no strawberries in oh. them. If the strawberries have a weird flavor when they're frozen. Is it, and does anybody else agree with this or am I crazy? You guys know that I'm crazy. Don't, don't try to fool yourselves. I know I'm crazy, but I'm accepting of that. Sometimes you gotta have a little crazy in your life to feel normal, and that's my job, is to make you feel just a little bit more normal. Isn't that nice of me? You're welcome. Pepperoni time. Megan, how come you're buying um, box pizza when you make homemade pizza? Well, you know what? For something different, right, Dad? Yes. Yeah. When you're something different. I like your thinking, thank you. Sometimes I just get that. Now, I have um, a kiddo or two that would prefer the store-bought. They'll eat the homemade. But every now and again, I indulge them. That's why when I do my weekly shopping and I just buy one, and some people are confused. Megan, you have five children. Why are you only buying one pizza? It's because I'm crazy. And I do a homemade pizza and a Jack's, cause I'm crazy. Anyway, 11.28. That's four pizzas right there for 11.28, by the way. Any Peter Pans? I'm a codfish. We're not getting codfish though. We're getting tilapia. $14.98 for three pounds of tilapia. I've been making so much tilapia and it makes our taste buds happy. I have this really fantastic seasoning. If you want to know about it, you let me know and I'll put it in the description box. But you just shake it on, put it in the pan. Oh, heaven. Heaven. Okay, see the limit two here? We're going to get the two. Okay. Um, and it's $13.68 for butter, unsalted, wherever that's at. Right down down yonder. So Aldi's price went up. They had a little sale for a while, but then not. And then Meyer, they had a sale on their challenge butter. And when I compared prices though, for this time, it was still cheaper even on sale to get it here. I think it was $3.49 a pound on sale at Meyer. So anyway, we're getting butter for a good price. Look at all this goodness. I've been very proud of the kids. They've been eating through all the snacks very well. And we've had very minimal amount of snacks. So we're going to kind of buy a good amount today with the intention that this is just a special thing that we're getting a lot. So I'm gonna grab some Cheez-Its for one. Did that make you sick? I'm so sorry. Six, no, 9.42 for the three pounds of Cheez-Its. It's a good price here, I checked it, I promise. Goldfish, 12.32 for the bag of it. Will I regret it? I might, but Nola really likes them. So if nobody else, she'll eat it. But we haven't had it in quite a long time, so I think it'll be good we've got the toasty sandwich crackers peanut butter 878 we have a good amount at home but i just thought why don't we get ahead this time 
And I, yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you, Megan. Good thinking. <laughs> Look who's on sale. Look who really showed up to the party with all Jeez, their, uh, there are all their marbles intact. We got 12 boxes for 533 of the saltines. 12 packs, not boxes. Three boxes, Three boxes thank you. Um, that's pretty good. We're that's gonna cheap. do it. Yeah. And then we also need the club crackers. Where am I gonna put all this stuff when I get home? Well, you're gonna find out. Come watch, we'll make it fit. 888 is uh, what it's gonna cost for the club crackers. A little bit of veggie straws for 748. These kids are gonna think they died and went to heaven with all these snacks. I have a theory, I've talked about it before, but I feel that you need to hear it and it might bring you a sense of comfort. So, you know how your kids like to snack a lot? Mine too, like a lot. But I have noticed that when the option is not there, they kind of go into this place in their mind that they're like, you know, I think I just want to snack, not because I'm hungry. Now, sometimes they are hungry, but it's not so much that I'm hungry. It's just that this is what I do. How many of you are snackers? I'm a snacker to my core. What did dad always used to tell me before dinner? Don't ruin your dinner. Don't snack. And I'm like, I'm snacking because that's what I do. <laughs> But I think when the option's not there, we kind of realize like we don't actually need all the snacks. So because of that, I'm buying all the snacks. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, but it's okay. Let's go check out. Oh, by the way, a lot of you tell me, why do you check out at Sam's Club when you can just do scan and go? It's because I'm filming on my phone. So when I film on my phone to go back and forth between scan and go and the phone would be quite the feet and I've done it before but man my hand gets to hurting and it's a lot of stopping and starting this whole trip could double in time and we don't we ain't got time to double our time you know what I'm saying so checking out checking out I guess I have to scan my card yeah, I always <laughs> I always stand here like a ding dong and I'm like oh it's me it's me I'm the problem it's me okay here we go dad's got a system well he's trying to get this bag out here and I always feel like I'm in the way when he's doing the system. So I don't really know how to help. I'm a very good helper if I know what my job is, but I never know quite what my job is, so I just stand and <laughs> just look around. Lately, when I've been shopping, I feel like people are looking at me and um, I'm noticing, well, they are, because I'm special, but because they recognize me. I do have some people in town that know who I am, um, that I grocery shop. That sounds so full of myself, doesn't it? Well, here's something interesting. About an hour away, there's a, there's a Costco. We don't have a Costco here. My father-in-law was there and he overheard somebody say, we're breaking Megan's number one rule. We're going in hungry. And I, when he sent me that message, I was like, no, this has to be a joke. Can this be? So if you are in my area and you see me, don't hesitate to say hello and I would be happy to say hello to you. Would you like to know the total for Sam's Club? The total is 313.30. Wow, that is, we got a lot. That's good. That is good, we got a lot. Also, if you saw or if you didn't see the grocery haul prep, you know that we're gonna be using a lot of HelloFresh this week because they enticed me and they said things to me like, Megan, if you come back to us, we'll give you all this money off. So I got dad 12 meals from HelloFresh for $25. Oh, that's These are like, a meal? Yeah. It's just for this week though. But how could I say no? no but, so you're not gonna see me buying as much meat because we're gonna be doing, I think a box a week, as long as we like what they're having, you know, you get to pick. But I just want to let you know that in case you get worried, Go back and watch my uh, grocery haul prep and you'll know why I'm not getting all the things. But that's, okay. So, 13, no, 3, ter what? 3, 13, 30 for the total for Sam's Club. We're gonna go put everything in the car, pray we don't freeze, and then we will uh, head over to Aldi. Actually, we're gonna go to Target and pick up an order, but it's just one little thing, and then we'll go to Aldi. Oh my word, I got so involved talking to you guys that we walked away, I didn't even pay. And I went, oh, where's my receipt? And I come back to the screen and it says, are you still here? <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. Okay. Oh, hey, I got instant savings, $1.25. So really my total is three twelve oh five. I saved a little bit and I'm happy about it. This is what happens when I film. I lose my mind just slightly. I wish I could say it's coming back, but there's no guarantees in life, people. We just did a pickup at Pitarje. Look at these. Oh yeah, I got three of them because that's all they have. So I, when I prep for the month or the week, 
for like baked stuff. I have my sourdough and I do that in these jars. I prep all the flour. And then if I'm doing like muffins or cookies or anything like that, we prep them. Well, I just had, I had five jars for my sourdough, which I needed. And then everything else, you know, I double, triple recipes sometimes, trying to shove them into those, you know, regular size jars, not working. So those were like three something each, closer to four. If you bought them on the Target app, they were a little cheaper than in person. So I done did that. So it was like 1347, I believe was the total for the three of those large, large jars. Now we're going to Aldi. Get your quarters ready, here we go. Look at these new snacks, guys. Bacon, habanero, pretzels, garlic, parmigiano. Oh my word. And then we've got the ranch, pickle ranch, wait, fried pickle ranch flavored potato chips and the loaded bacon and cheddar. Anybody had these? Hint of lime, now that sounds good over there. What is this? Dill pickle flavored popcorn. Have any of you tried this? Come now. So these guys actually, they're 95 cents, which is a good price. That is a good price. And these are pretty firm. They are pretty firm, but they're not oh, always that's dependable as that. That's it. But those would have been really good. I would have saved a lot. Well, you, uh, well, they were, yeah. You yeah. Saved a dollar free. Oh, yep. nuts. Wah, wah. Always and forever, cilantro will make it into my cart, folks. Always. What? Time. And rosemary and sage, all fresh. Ooh, oh, rosemary? Rosemary. Should I make focaccia bread with fresh? The last time I made focaccia bread, it was with dried. And while it was okay, it was a little pokey. I still haven't got my cilantro. All right. Oh, rosemary, and mint, mint, and thyme. You want one or no? I think I want a rosemary. I think that would be lovely. Ooh, that looks pretty. Nice and fresh. Oh, I love rosemary. <laughs> rosemary. Woo! Man, those guys want to go home with you. $1.79 for those guys. Unfortunately, fortunately, I guess, the cauliflower looks amazing here. And, uh, you know, a good oh, 70 cents, 70 cents but cheaper. But it's on sale. But oh. still, it would have been cheaper. Darn. Yeah, you well, can't you never can tell until you show up. Aldi is like a mystery shop. Sometimes. You just never know. And the cucumbers, they're actually on sale, too. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. $1.69 for some carrots, and those are a two pounder. We bought one that's really good, so be jealous. The dynamic duo from the Little Potato Company, $3.29. And we're gonna eat these up so that we don't have a problem like we did the last time where mine got moldy and sputted. Really? Well, not these, but my russet potatoes oh, did. Yeah. It was very unfortunate. One of you, we talked about the tikka masala here, the sauce. It was good, but I would have liked something sweet. You guys told me all kinds of different ways to do it. Adding in some um, 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 mango chutney, right? Uh -huh. Or adding in um, coconut milk. Yes. But one of you said something so brilliant. I'm so excited. You said, see if there's an Indian market in your area. Oh. Guess what there is? Just down the street. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. So I want to go check it out. You wanted to try that one, didn't you? Yes. The simmer um, it's sauce. yellow curry made with um, coconut. See, the coconut probably will give you just the right amount of sweetness. I felt like the tikka masala hit the back of the tongue, yep. but it was like something was missing in the front end. This is sweeter. Maybe that's what my taste buds were wanting. But it's not that It's only four grams. That's pretty low sugar. Yeah. So. You want me to buy that for you? No. Oh. But I couldn't find it last time I was here. Now well, you want to get it? No, no. I don't, There's only I one of them. That's okay. Oh, you already used your chicken? Okay. My boy Israel wants some cashews. Oh. $12.49 um, for the Aldi one here with the sea salt. Mm -hmm. Not going to lie, a little bit of chocolate chips in there. Ooh. Oh, doggy. That's a good night snack right there. Not that I would know. I never eat sweets. <laughs> Actually, I've been doing so good, Dad. I've been doing really? very good. I've eaten some. My goal was to not eat any, so oh, I, I ate some. <laughs> Did you believe that I could do it? No. What? I knew I could do it. I've done it before, but I didn't do it. How many? Oh, it's graham cracker time. One eighty-nine for the box. We'll go for two boxes. We have so many other snacks that let's not get out of control, shall we? Ooh, I did have these the last time I asked you guys if you tried them, you liked them. Meat? Ooh, these are $3.99 for these tortilla chips for taco night. $1.19 a can. It's on sale for the pumpkin puree. Yeah. I would like, 
Ooh, I have a lot of bananas in the uh, freezer, so I'm gonna make banana bread. So let's just do two of those. I made some with the leftover that I had from my big can in my uh, grocery haul prep, if you guys saw that. We've been eating on them and they are so good. What do you want? I needed some more oregano and some basil. I love sprinkling oregano and basil on some homemade pizza oregano. right on top of the sauce. Oh, it's so good. 97 cents for that guy. And then we've got to find the basil. Where does he live? Basil. Yell out if you see it. Only That's this. Italian. Stir. Oh, yeah, we don't want stir and paste. I need me a sprinkle. No, they don't have it? Interesting. Okay, I guess we're going to get that at the Wally. Mm. Don't see any. I don't see any either. Okay. I hope you guys weren't shouting out because I didn't see it. But maybe you guys did. I don't know. Who wants to take a moment and just look at the cheese together? Let's go in slow mo. Ready? <laughs> Tell me in the comments if there's one you see here, get close so you can see it all. What is your favorite? Mine's probably the brie. I did make a baked camembert one that was good with some cranberry sauce. Turned out good, very tasty. Ooh, and I do like, is that Jarlsberg? Yep. Oh man. And you're gonna make um, fondue? Yes. That's gonna be oh, I've never cheeses. made my own. Okay, three cheeses. Gruyere, yeah. Swiss, yeah. and I'll think of the other one. Okay, you'll think of the other one. Yep, but that's it. Oh. Gruyere, Swiss, and Alfenzeller. Oh, Alfenzeller. How many of you know what he's talking about? I've never made my own fondue. I think it would be lovely though. Why not, right? It is fun. I went to a restaurant. We used to have one in town. You could have your entire meal fondue. Yeah. Dinner, I don't know if they had an hors d'oeuvre, and dessert. They have it up there? I don't know It's from Switzerland as well. How many from Switzerland know this cheese? Luxembourger. Mm. It's a hard cheese. I like the hard ones. Yep. Parmigiano. Ooh, Ooh Asiago. Asiago yeah. Ooh, Asiago cheese bagels. bagels. Come on now. <laughs> what is this? Peanut butter and jelly bites. Strawberry filled peanut butter snack. Oh, I see. There's the image, gluten-free. How many of you have had that? How interesting. And cauliflower potato chips. How many boxes of taco shells do we need? We have one, we need three. $1.19 for the taco shells. Because every week is Taco Tuesday week, we can't let any Tuesday go without getting its moment in the sun. And then we need three cans of refried beans. Those are 99 cents. Man, the kids get so excited on Taco Tuesday night and that makes me really excited yes. because they're all eating happily. It just, there's a lot of happiness on this mama's heart. Storage bags. I wasn't gonna buy any, but then I did, so I am. I need <laughs> some sandwich bags and I also need, where, wait a minute. Okay, freezer court bags, but I don't need the freezer ones. I just need storage and they're 219 and then sandwich bags for 219 as well because you know we're going to prep stuff and some stuff just has to go in a bag. So I wanted to make sure I had enough. Some of you thought that this could get cheaper at Sam's Club or even the great value brand at Walmart, but it is not. It is the cheapest one here. in town, at least where we live. Let's get some panko breadcrumbs for a very special live mm. we're doing on Saturday, but I'm not telling you what it is. Dad already knows. Don't tell dad. Oh, oh, for a dollar. Oh, for a dollar. Okay. A um, dollar fifty nine for the the plain ones. It's something from long ago. Land far, far. Away. That's right. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard me say "bada bing, bada bacon"? Now we've got a new one. Bada bean, bada boom. I'll be using that. You prepare yourself. I don't even know what these are. Crunchy, broad beans. Sweet onion and mustard and sweet sriracha. Okay, okay. What is this? Crispy minis. How many of you, is this like the little cakes? Creamy and crispy layers, poppable. That does look good, my friend. If you're interested, 349, I'm just looking though. Can you guys tell I haven't been eating enough sugar in my life? 249, look at these. Coconut macaroons, double chocolate, come on. I'm not buying it. And the Nutter Butter right next to it. Come on, come on. Did you see the savings we got? Look at the butter here, three ninety eight. What was it? Three forty nine. Yep. Fifty cents almost cheaper yep. at the old Sam's. 
Wow. Just one? We're gonna give a try to the Aldi oranges, 245. We might get the other ones at the other store. Here's why. We've had this before, and I remember the kids now. I, I kept forgetting, why am I not buying it here? Because it's cheaper. But um, the kids thought it had a very lemony flavor to it, not orange juice flavor. But we're gonna give it another try, because you never know, maybe it was a weird season. So we'll get one here, and we'll get one at Meyer. Okay? Okay. Grabbing a couple of milks for two forty-seven. Sadly, I don't have a Meyer coupon to save money this time. So we'll get an Adaldi, which is a pretty good price. And then do you see my lactose milk over there? Yes, and it's three nineteen. I'm gonna grab two. Are you still liking my list? Oh, loving it. Faster. Yeah. Give us more time to gab. More time to gab. You know, we pretty much saved the world in our shopping trip with all of our gabbing. <laughs> And then by the end, we realized we haven't solved anything, so we have to get together again. Anybody else like that? By the way, three sixty nine for eggs here. They were two oh nine at Meyer the other day. Uh, Walmart, they're four dollars and fifty eight cents, I think. You in like New York and, and other places, six seven dollars. My sister in Texas, yeah. five dollars and eighty nine cents. It was like a dollar ninety nine a year ago. Ninety nine cents two years ago. What in the world? I'm gonna grab shrimp. Um, and these are, how much was it? Six? Six forty-nine. Forty-nine for those guys. Now, the price next to them, the shrimp are smaller, and I find they're just a little harder to work with. So maybe I'm not skilled enough yet, but I'm willing to pay well, 80 big. cents more for the, the medium. Checkout time. Who's going to guess how much it is? Uh, $53. That's what I'm feeling. No, I lied. 68 92 so 6872 <laughs> You want to hear how close I was? I'm pretty proud of myself today. 7092 for the old Aldi. 7092. Are you impressed? You should be. We're going to pack this guy up. We're going to head over to the Wally and you're coming with us. Let's do that. Oh, if you need to get something for the kids, little Barbie things now $4. Oh, aren't these the fun places to look? They're only fun if you really need them. Oh my word, look at that, Dino Squad. Ezra would love that. They got a lot of Nerf for Christmas and they're happy. Love is in the air, exchanging glances. Reese's, let's just say hi to the Reese's things. All things Reese's, you know my love. But I think it's good to just, you know, say, hey, what's up? Ranchy Ranch, $5.98 for all of those yummy veggies the kids have been enjoying with a little ranch in their life. Have you guys seen this? I don't think we've talked about this before. Skittles and Starburst lemonade. Hmm. Or a drink, I guess it's not really lemonade. A variety drink, interesting. They have all players. We're gonna grab a couple of pastas. Now, um, I like the way that these cook up better than like the great value brand. We've done it and actually they're what? Wait a minute. Oh No, that's the big box. I was like, why are these more expensive? So the, see the big box here um, But they're just not cooking up very nicely. So they're kind of chewy So that's why I'm going for Brilla and listen, I watched a video oh. of this Italian grandma who used Barilla in Italy That brand is good. Yes Okay, then let's give it a go. So $1.26 for that guy. Uh, and then they have the Cavatappi yes, in that too. Perfect, okay. And then the shell one, do they have shell ones? I don't, I'm not seeing shell. Anybody yell it out when you see it. No, I don't see it in that brand. Yeah, that's a good one. But then we'll do the shell in the uh, Barilla. That'll be fine. So $1.34 and $1.26 for the Rotini. Saving 50 cents or, or so. 50? Well, 50 six, cents. Yeah. About 50 cents. A box. And we got yes. three of them. So we have a bunch at home. Looks kind of fun. Look at those boxes. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Not even gonna try. No, because it would come out and they'd censor it. <laughs> <laughs> Ramen at 6.30, no, what? 3.68 for 12 of the containers. It's just because, people. Don't get upset. It's fine. It's fine. 
I didn't tell you this about Tabitha over at this mama's house, but they recently moved and they are homesteader wannabes. That's what they're working toward. So they're, you know, learning how to make all the things and do all the stuff, which is so interesting, so cool. And if you get horses, Tabitha, I would like to come and ride them if that's okay. I love riding horses. Any horseback riders? Oh, I had so much fun. I was in the seventh grade and I went to this girls camp and we did horseback riding lessons over the summer, seven weeks in Maine, I was there and I rode Marvin the Martian. That was my horse's name and it was wonderful. You know how we bought the Eggo waffles? Well, now we're gonna do homemade too. It's actually partially homemade. I love these and the kids were so happy the other day. I made them pancakes with this mix. You can do the waffles too. King Arthur gluten-free all-purpose baking mix, worth it, five, 82. How many? Two, please. I still have a tiny bit at home. You know that I don't impulse buy too often, but this is something we love. Wild blueberry muffin mix, 297. Wouldn't the kids just be so happy if I made that? They really would. I love them. Let's do it. Uh-oh. I think two might go in the cart. Just two of them. We like them that much. One dollar for the basil leaves. I already grabbed one. I'm so glad we looked. I almost couldn't find it. Apple juice for two fifty-four, and we're gonna grab two of those big dogs. What is this? Reese's Puffs minis. How cute! Tricks minis. Tricks minis. We're sneaking up on the popcorn six twelve for the light butter. I've had several of you tell me, Megan, get an air fryer. It'll change your life. Try to convince me in the comments. I'm not ready yet. Seventy dollars. I don't know. Do I want another gadget? I. I do just fine with what I've got. That's how I roll. You may be able to convince me though, but it's gonna take some time. You may be able to convince me. How about a little Murphy's soap? We've gotta wash the floor. This one they always have in a weird spot. There it is, $3.98. They put it way far away from the other stuff. It seems odd, right by the ammonia. I don't think that's right. We're gonna live on the wild side today and try something. Usually I get the pledge dusting spray. What about this end dust? Have I made a bad decision? I mean, the price is really nice, three eighty-two. Yep. I'm gonna just Cheaper. get crazy and try it. It's one of those days, just get crazy. I mean, they, they take good. Dish wand sponge replacements, three thirty-three. Be prepared. Next grocery haul prep. I promise there will be a switching of the sponges. If you're new here, let me just let me just enlighten you. These duo line floss picks will change your life. They are 330 for the pack of them. So that we don't grow forests on our legs and armpits, <laughs> we're gonna grab some razors for 512. I haven't done the Equate brand. I usually do a Target brand one, but we'll give it a switch up and they're cheaper. Oh, so yeah. I'll do I'll it. Each. What's cheap? Five blades is where it's at. I've, I've these. used these before. They were, I used them on Messiah. Messiah, they were okay? All right. Oh, yeah. We are trying a new brand of diapers because Target's price has gone up. So Target used to be the cheapest in our area, over Sam's, over even Walmart. But then lately, they've gone up. And Miss Noli Bear, she's got, she needs a size seven. So these are twenty six forty seven, and I think there's a hundred, uh, a hundred and twenty in there. So that'll be really good. I'm excited that they've got them here. They were, wow. that's about eight dollars cheaper than Target, and I think you get more diapers as well. Right and. They didn't have any diapers last time I came here. Oh, wow. So you've got to... Dad wears right. diapers, baby dad. No, it's for my Not nephew. <laughs> <laughs> it's for my nephew. They, they always ask me, do I wear boxers or briefs? And I said, depends. Oh, my, 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 my. <laughs> He's too much. He is too much. We're getting the great value tater tots for two ninety eight. dollars How many of you like to mix mayonnaise and ketchup for your tater tots or your french fries? Oh, man. Cut. Regular cut would be just fine for two ninety eight as well. Oh, right there in the red. Mm -hmm. Whoop! Chicky nug nug time. Oh, we're getting crazy and we're buying the big bag. These are not the Dino Nuggets, but we accidentally got the regular ones the last time, and the kids didn't complain and they liked them. So this will save us a bit, and we'll get the uh, bigger bag. Wait, right? Yep. Is that the normal kind? Okay, yep. let's do that. Walmart is complete. We'll go check out and I'll give you the total. Remember that one time at Sam's Club when we got a really good price on these crackers? Look for one box, 358. We got three boxes for five, five something. Man, steal of a deal. 
Those diapers took up our total here today. 116.18 was the total for Wally. We have one place left to go. It's Meyer, so let's make it a happy day and get on with it. All right, ibuprofen. We're gonna get the Meyer brand 1359, and that's buy one, get one free. So we're gonna take the deal. Deal or no deal, it's a deal. Meyer has a little sale here, $2.99 for the Gala apples. They're kind of on the smaller side, but I think they'll work. We like to have them, so we're gonna have them. It's time for me to make good choices with bananas and not get too many, or at least get some that are more on the green side. 37 cents a pound. Uh, maybe some that are more yellow and some that are a little more green, although most of these are pretty green, but that's yellowish. That's yellow and green, both. All right, let's do that. And then, no, that other one you picked up was really nice too. This one? Yes. Mm. It's more yellow, yeah. Yes, I think that would be good. You guys asked me on my last live what crazy thing we were going to try, something different. How about dragon fruit? Now, I saw a video of somebody cutting into this. These are $4.99. Wow. I'm doing it for you guys. My goodness. Do I don't know? even know if they're good. How would, how do I know? Uh -huh. We're going to take a, a chance on the wild side today. I, I'm gonna have to go back and watch the video of somebody eating them. They seemed to make it like, it seemed very simple. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Also, we might have to give these a try. What is this? How do you even eat this? Sweet and juicy. What is it even called? Oh, rambutans. Rambutan? Yeah, rambutans. Well, how do you, you just eat it like that? All furry oh, no, looking? No, no, you take them out. Oh, on the inside. oh. Let's see what they taste. It contains a pit. Oh, it shows you how to do it. Okay, it's like some weird you octopus, some sea urchin. And on the inside. Oh, on the inside. The maybe we'll try that next time. Those are $5.49. Yep. You guys, for you, I would do it. All greeny beans. Look at those. Those look pretty good, don't they? Mm, or no? Okay. You guys, those look terrible. Them? Well, we just use them all the time, really. It is our Staple. vegetable of choice. These don't look too bad. Those look pretty good, that bed back. Okay. One sweet little onion is going in, and it is, are those Spanish onions? Oh, let's grab a sweet onion. I've been doing that lately too. $1.49 a pound, but I'm just gonna go for one, and I'm gonna show you my top secret, not top secret, I've already showed it to you once before, but I'll show it to you again secret, about onions. You come on back for something in a couple days, I'm sure I'll show you something. I hope that was helpful in clarifying what's gonna happen. How are they? Good. Brilliant. Can you believe we're gonna do snow peas again? We are. $4.49 for a pound. It's just a handful of goodness. We put those in the stir fries. It's all good. Russet potatoes. We're gonna pick our own this time and I'm gonna ensure that they're not moldy and they don't go bad too quick, but also not getting too many will help us. One of you told me to store it out of the plastic because um, a lot of times we get it like this out of the plastic and in something like paper. That would help too. So, I like your thinking. I used to store them in the fridge. I know some people say no, no. But that was the only way I could keep them from going bad. But then I stopped storing them in the fridge. I don't know. I don't know. Also, I'm gonna take a little Sweetie Tater. A dollar nineteen, a dollar nineteen each. That's probably for pounds. Yeah, because it says pound bulk. Yeah, I think that was mislabeled. I think that's per how pound. Many um, just one. And how big? Um, like that guy's looking pretty good. Oh, that's fine without the without the doinger on it. Without the little friendly holes. In it. Yeah, some sort of creature. Yeah. That's better. All right. Two breads from the good old fashioned Meyer. Keep them in the freezer, or on the cabinet in the cabinet on the counter, whatever. We do one of each usually, unless there's already one out. And they just defrost so beautifully. Man, I've been doing that now for like a year because you guys told me that and it's true. They come out as if they had just been picked up from the store. Pretzel. pretzel time. I would love to have, oh, do they not have the little waffle size? Okay, then sticks it is. Um, one stick bag, 219. Usually I'd get more, but we're gonna make our homemade pretzels for uh, Valentine's Day. They're gonna be the shape of a heart. Johanna came up with that idea, isn't that cute? That'll be fun. 
No, we don't need donkey chips this time. Hee haw. Hee haw. Sad news, folks. No Wheaties here. We might have to ask if they have it in the back. Oh, or it would be out here, wouldn't yeah. it? Syrup Meyer Original for two nineteen. What is this? A little coupon? Oh, that's a Mrs. Butterworth's one. No, oh, I still get it cheaper if I do the Meyer one. We still have some at home too, so I think we're a okay. Newman salsa. I'm gonna get the mild for three thirty nine. No bueno. Look at Barilla over here at the good old Meyer. It's gone up. The price has gone up again. Eleven cents actually. Yeah, it was a dollar eighty four, or maybe that was Walmart. No, was. Yeah. I don't feel good about this, folks. Yeah. Look what I'm getting. Sesame oil. You know, we made my our gyozas and we ran out of sesame oil. $4.89. It's on sale. Way to go. Six oh nine bread flour. Why'd you do it? Going up. I need uh, two. I'm going for two. Unless I want to make more challah bread. What do you guys think? Did you see that one? Made challah bread. It didn't taste like dog breath. I think that egg washes have a dog breath taste. What are your thoughts on egg washes? I think I just did it wrong is what it is because this way of making the egg wash was in a jar. You shake it with some milk and salt and it turned out beautifully. Anyway, 609, two of those guys. I also need a whole wheat. Um, yes, well, the red one, the red one. Yep, um, 609 for that guy. That's for the sourdough. Orange juice pulp free, $2.99. You remember that we got the one at Aldi. We're gonna make sure that it's good. And if it's a little bit, you know, lemony or whatever, we'll just mix it with this guy. It'll be great. I kid you not, this $4 price $4 last week was $2.09. $4.09. $4.09, what? I was so excited. And a dozen and a half, oh, two dozen. $7.19, it's Ooh. still, it's $3.20. This is, <sighs> I should have bought the store out last no, time. Really. I feel so sad that I oh, missed God. it. Wow. Three forty nine is still cheaper than anywhere else. Well, yeah, three forty nine is great for right now, but two oh nine just last week. That's quite the sale. What happened? Too many eggs came in. Two for six on the yogurt. I think that's still been going on since a while ago. So I like that price. And um, one strawberry, one blueberry. Oh, March seventh. Oh, March seventh, February seventh. Oh yeah, no. March 7th would be much better. And then how about this blueberry guy? He seems to be the culprit a lot. March. Perfect. Oh, that's good. Yes. There's only two of them in there. Very good. Two for six. Nice, nice. How many of you like the Whipst yogurt? The Whipst? That's not how you say it. Whips, sorry. Um, I like it. And I was telling my dad, I said, it's like a little dessert thing, but you need about three of them to really feel satisfied. Yes. <laughs> I wish they came in a huge container. They, they can't. Because they're whipped. Right, and you also can't, they can't ship them by air. When they, sh I worked for General Mills when this happened. Yeah. So they shipped a bunch of them overseas. Yes. And. They it deflated? Went, yes. <gasps> and you can't fix it right. once it's done. Oh. Because of the altitude change. Because <gasps> of the altitude change. How interesting. Those key lime high ones look good. That's when they, when they first good. started making them, yeah. How interesting. What a sad thing to learn. Like. Pallets, oh man, that's terrible. They probably fixed it by now. I imagine so, because it's been quite some time. They have the chocolate, the orange cream, oh man, and the key lime, all of them. Don't tempt me, I'm not buying them. Four fifty nine for the store brand here. Still saved, what was it, three forty two dollars Three three forty two a pound so at sales. Over a dollar. Wow. They did have their challenge butter, but that's been out. And some of you told me to get a rain check. Let's see. Does it say anything about a rain check? Do you know, does Meyer do rain checks? Limited until the 28th of Which January. Which is just a couple of days. 28th of January? Yep. Wait, is that tomorrow? No, Saturday. Yep. Hmm. Let's anyway, they didn't have it last time. They don't have it this time, but we still got it cheaper. So I'll take it. Oh, spring is in the air. See the good. Oh, I like that. These are pretty. Look at the mugs. Come close. I've been sort of considering, oh, relax, yes. Ooh, I really like this one. I love these colors. Kind of looks like cinnamon right there. Fancy schmancy. But I really love these little mug things, but I have mugs, but they're just nice. They're just nice. What is this? Oh, you can cook, store, and clean in this. What, there's a timer on it? Unbelievable. 
I don't know what that's about, but that's very interesting. It almost looks like to keep the date. It tells you so that your food doesn't expire before you eat it. You put the date on it when you put it in there. I don't know. Also, I like this. That's very pretty. I like the home. I like all of this. We're doing good here, people. I like it. It's lovely. Let me see. The only chocolate lactate, $4.19. We're taking it. It's been out for weeks. New price, it's holding strong, $2.99. Woohoo! Okay, mint chocolate chip, chocolate, and birthday cake have been the request. What is this? Candy bar overload? Yeah, this is. Well, cool. what kind of candy bars are they? Caramel with nugget, nougat. Which one do you say? Chocolate flavored and caramel coated peanuts. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so yeah, mint chocolate cake? chip. Oh, Mackinac Island fudge. How many of you like chunks in your ice cream? Jojo, she doesn't like it. She wants it smooth. I like if it's like the like this, the mint mousse tracks. That speaks well to my taste buds. Mint chocolate chip. And then regular chocolate. Oh, that chocolate was dark. Yay, they had them this time. We've been without ice cream for four days, I think. Oh, yeah. And nobody complained. I made cookies the first day we were out. Chocolate chip cookies, they were really happy. And then they just had to suck their tongue the rest of the time. I had nothing left. You have to tell them about suck your tongue. <laughs> when I was growing up, the kindness of my parents was, if you're thirsty, suck your tongue. Suck your tongue. And <laughs> I don't think I've ever told the kids to suck their tongue before, but. but remember, it wasn't because you, there wasn't any water or anything. <laughs> we were being sassy. Right, they're just saying, I'm thirsty. You just got finished drinking something. I'm still thirsty. Suck your tongue. Suck <laughs> Yes. Oh, the sassiness. <gasps> okay. Callie, I'm going to call you out. Callie B. She told me about these Klondike Reese's thingies. And I said, do not tell me where you got those because you'll know I want to get them. I'm trying not to eat the sugar. I'm just pointing them out. Here they are. I'm not getting them, but there they are. And they had the minis and they had the big ones. Too. Oh. Just so you know. Oh my. Let's go. Walk away. Walk away. Okie doke, we are done at Meyer and it's 92.45 for the grand total today. 92.45. We saved for specials throughout the store $10.23. I'd say we did pretty good. So, um, you want to know the grand total? I'm going to tell you. Grand total for all the stores, not including the Target. I just showed you that one, but I didn't include it. It is $5.91.60 for the total. $5.91.60 is our total. And I think we're going to make a pit stop to Walmart to get the Wheaties. So that's not in this, but it will be. So yeah. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Um, we're gonna go to Walmart for sure and grab those Wheaties, but make sure that you pop over to this mama's house. I'll put her video down in the description box and you can watch her once a month grocery haul. She's absolutely lovely. You can see her blog, Instagram, and her YouTube channel this mama's house all the things are called that and i'm so glad that she decided to collaborate with me today it's amazing so have an amazing day guys i will talk with you soon Bye bye i left dad in the car don't worry he's the right age and i told him to lock the door to be safe we're getting wheaties here i'm so sad they were cheaper at meyer but if they don't have them it doesn't matter does it no two boxes 4.98 each you know, do your math. Add that to the total that we already had. We're just over $600 for this big old grocery haul for the month. So, you guys come on back. We'll have more fun. I'm gonna do a put away. I'm gonna do a live cook with me on Saturday at 12 Central Standard Time. Hope you'll be there. And uh, we'll talk with you soon. Bye guys. Dad, you did not lock the door like I said. <laughs> the bad guys could have gotten you. Thanks for shopping with me. Yeah. Let's do it again sometime. Uh, probably. Probably. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs>